You are on the air. Uh, ow! <laughs> My elbow. My elbow? My elbow. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Here you go. Yeah. Okay. Welcome back to Spoonsville. We are covering My Neighbor Totoro. Yeah. Yeah. 1988 Studio Ghibli. And we put it on because we were just looking for something frantically to watch before we, you know, the food is getting cold. Time is of the essence. <laughs> and we put that one on. And I liked it. It was sweet. Very wholesome. I've never seen a movie with the, such cute ghosts. <laughs> Would you call him ghost? I don't know if Totoro is a ghost. I think he's just a spirit. Yeah, I yeah. feel like he's a spirit. Yeah. yeah. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> I did. I liked it. Yeah. You know? I don't know. It's interesting. Now that I'm uh, here, yeah. I'm feeling kind of sad. Oh. <laughs> like I'm stifling a waterfall. <laughs> Stifle? Let no, it fall. I do, totally do not want to be <laughs> crying. <laughs> Totoro. I remember the first time I talked about how it kind of reminded me of my childhood. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, I don't know why you didn't think this feel the same way. Because you it pretty does. much grew up yeah. surround oh, it in did. like it a did. forest. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I had the same thing. Yeah. yeah. And we would just spend times, uh, especially when we were really young, when we got older and we had computers, you know, stayed more indoors. But uh younger around may's age you know four or five yeah. years old you would just walk along the road or walk into valleys and ditches and forests exactly. and yeah yeah for me it reminded me of my childhood could i because i had that kind of childhood yeah i um grew up in a place where we were just kids after school you just go home drop your bag and you just hang out with people with your friends yeah and you just you're out of and about all day climbing trees or I don't know, yeah. in nature. Very carefree. Very carefree. Yeah. So I guess that's why I'm now kind of feeling sad. Yeah. A little nostalgic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's definitely, it's interesting because I didn't really want to do a review on this because I was like, <laughs> like I don't know about? what, what I'm going to talk about because yeah. really the plot isn't that deep. No. Um, it's just some kid, some kids who move to the countryside uh, or rural Japan with their dad and they move into this house it's very dilapidated and they just have basically adventures with these spirits that they meet yeah. Tororo and cute little ones, yeah. spirits <laughs> yeah. and yeah. and that's basically it yeah. that's literally they, they, what they, happens in the movie so i don't know i i felt like so i thought that you know what am i going to say but yeah. i just realized that it's just maybe uh Kind of like an ode to the to to innocence yeah you know yeah because when you're watching that for me when i was watching that I, there was a lot of that memory of not having to worry about stuff yeah like um i'm getting oh my god S work is stressful right yeah. now <laughs> <laughs> it's okay it's a ghibli movie work is killing Get me <laughs> It, I think, think Totoro <laughs> just got to you a little bit. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I totally did because I think yeah, I remember that time. I've been, I I, I know that when we were uh, maybe the first two sittings of the yeah. movie, I remember I was talking to you about these fruits that we used to have that I can't even remember what they were called, but they were just in abundance because we lived in in a place that was just really you know packed full of nature and vegetation and all these things mm -hmm. that were just incredible for a kid. And so Toro kind of definitely took me back there. Yeah. It's not just a kid movie. I think that's when I first watched it, I, I said that. I was like, this is for kids, but it's for everyone. Yeah. Um, for you as an, uh, a non-kid, mm -hmm. it's definitely something that's going to remind you of that, the innocence of that time. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely going to tap into a yeah. whole lot of nostalgia. Yeah. When I first think about it, I'm like... Yeah, I liked it. Like, I enjoyed myself, you know, there was, like, good music, funny moments, cute characters. But, you know, was it, you know, it felt kind of like there really wasn't much there. But when you think about it, like, for me, I'm thinking about it, I actually really like that it wasn't a lot going on. First of all, there was still the backdrop of a potentially serious, uh, you know, their mom being sick. And for most of it, you don't really know if she's gonna, yeah, you know, gonna make, go, it. make it or not, which is pretty dark and then you know uh that the kids like there are some conversations some dialogue there that i'm like this doesn't feel like a kid's movie where the kids are just like freak they're, they're crying they're they're having a hard time because they're like what if mom dies what are we gonna do you know it's not really something you see and i always go back to the emoji movie i haven't even seen it but i'm like i can't imagine they deal with that <laughs> maybe they do 
But you know, there there are some kids movies that it they don't really actually face things that ha- that intense, you know. And it's one of those where I'm thinking, does a movie like that have to have so much more going on? It can simply, like you say, just be an ode to like it just uh, put you back into being a four year old when you could just spend all day trying to watch seeds grow. Yeah. You know, that was your day. And you would spend there for weeks. You're like, and well, how this fascinating. Seeds? And it would be fascinating. Yeah. And and you'd love it. And you wouldn't get you wouldn't ever get bored. And you could so easily lose yourself, you could get lost in the forest because you just imagine yourself like making imaginary friends or, or or coming up with these scenarios in your head and you know, and at the end of it, you know, there is some cool magical stuff that happens. They hang out with Totoro, the other little creatures, they all have their own umbrellas and everything. And they're like making music through these like, I don't know, conch shell things. Yeah. Um, with kids movies now, when you watch them, it's like so jam packed full of jokes and references and things flashing across the screen and trying to keep you interested, I guess. But this is, it's nice and relaxed. There's not too much that needs to grip your constant attention you know yeah one thing i i would say for someone going into the movie it doesn't have a beginning a middle and an right. end what it is it's like uh a moment in time yeah. like a moment yeah. in someone's life like maybe right like a, a month yeah. of these people's lives and that's it you don't know what's gonna what what happened before yeah. you don't even know why they're moving yeah. you know they're moving yeah. to the country but you're not sure I assumed that they'd move there because the mom got sick and maybe it was cheaper to go to mm. go to rural Japan. Yeah. I, I thought that that was what was going to un- right. be uncovered, but they don't even talk about that. You yeah. just see them moving there to this house and that's about it, you know? Yeah. So it is really just a moment in time. And I think for me, the movie was much more uh, about the innocence of childhood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Things like them moving to this house that is completely dilapidated, yeah. you know? and yeah. But they're super excited about yeah. it. They don't even realize don't even these care. things, yeah. which... You know, once you're an adult, you're ha- you have your own house. I'm like, oh my god, people yeah. people are coming over. I have yeah. to do this and I have to do that. We have yeah. to. We can't have people come in before I <laughs> put the you know living room together. Yeah. The dad, the kids. Uh, he spends a lot of time putting the house together. They help where they can, where they're making a game out of like swap, swapping, swabbing the yeah. the swabbing. I yeah, swab know. the deck. Yeah, they swab in the, the floor. They're running back and forth and cleaning up the floor and everything. Um, but, you know, once they more or less get it together, he's doing work. He's missing all the Totoro stuff. They're flying around. They're growing a giant tree. They're singing. They're making yeah. music. He's not noticing anything because he's stuck in work, right? But the kids, I mean, but he's also, I think it's it's sweet, too, because he still holds on to a bit of his childhood, too, where he's able to connect with his kids. He's like, I think they're just making up random stuff about making imaginary friends. But that's cool. If they're having a good time. That's yeah. great, and he's willing to play along with it. I, I think the dad is really great because mm-hmm. he doesn't... He's not one of those dads who's like, oh, that's not real. You know, you yeah. got to be serious about life. Yeah. There are no th- things... Better start you know, growing up. Yeah. Yeah. There isn't anything. Like, you yeah. know, like Totoro, that doesn't ex- exist or yeah. whatever. He just goes along with it. Yeah. I like that. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's mark of a very good parent, yeah. you know. Yeah. And they're very responsible kids, honestly. Mm-hmm. And, and so you can, you see also that part of her, um, kind of having to grow up and also the fact that the mom isn't there and is sick. Yeah. They're just, there are certain things that are nudging them towards growing up and yeah. The hood of the adults. Yeah. Which is kind of nice that it didn't have that. Yeah. I, that it wasn't predictable in that way. I didn't really know what was going to happen. They end up kind of quickly. We need to get to, to mom. So they have to find Totoro. They have to find May. They have to get... The, the cat bust <laughs> to send them to the hospital. But in the end, she was she was recovering, so they didn't need to do that, but they still were worried, you know, and then they in their minds are they 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 maybe overblow things, but they're also understandably they're getting a call, right? It's that misunderstanding of like, yeah, we probably didn't need to call you guys because she's doing okay, but then that scares them. They're like, we're getting a call from the hospital. So yeah, that's what you're right though. It's it's the day in the life. But nothing yeah. wrong with that. It doesn't need to be a grand narrative you know yeah right now i'm definitely like in deep thought about uh, my childhood it's crazy yeah. it's definitely i i almost wonder if who uh, whoever wrote it i i wonder if they were kind of remembering just that um i don't know a moment in their own lives yeah uh like at, when you're around five you're not really thinking about there's so many things that you aren't thinking about life is super magical mm-hmm. everything is so big and wonderful and exciting and I don't know. I definitely miss that that time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. God. Yeah. Getting super emotional. Even things like um, making friends. You know. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember May has to wants to um, ends up going to school with Satsuki. Oh yeah. Um, she wanted <laughs> to spend time with her, 
and the teacher just allowed them and the kids were so nice and you know nobody was being mean or anything Mm -hmm. like that and I was just thinking about how much easier it was when you're a kid to just interact with people because I guess at the time there weren't a lot of things that were forming your needs as a human being and the most basic um, platform for interacting with anyone was just that you were a human and that's it like you're a person we can be friends Um, and so but now it's just so much more complicated yeah. even if you don't really want it to be complicated the world changes you right as you grow up there's yeah. just so much more added to you as a person and it will determine who you can really um reasonably interact with mm-hmm. seamlessly and comfortably yeah. so um yeah and that really means life is much more complicated and so yeah. i definitely now thinking about it am reflecting feeling a lot more nostalgic for youth than yeah than I I thought going into the movie for childhood, nostalgic for childhood, yeah. Yeah. Which has its place. I think it's nice to have movies that do that. And I like that there's some supernatural elements, but it's not not a lot, you know? And it's just, it's it's, everything's just, you know... Gentle, Gentle, it's very gentle. It's a very gentle movie. Yeah. Yeah, It's it's mild in a good way. It's sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Music is nice, but again, it's just, it kind of complements the movie. I don't know. It's just... Yeah, the music is great. It's just super... Yeah. Ah, just it just takes you back. Yeah. Yeah. Takes you back. <laughs> it definitely just takes you back. Yeah. 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 Now I'm gonna well, after this I'm gonna cry. Yeah. Because I'm remembering my childhood and I want it back. <laughs> yeah. Well, what would you rate it? I would ten say, out of ten. Yeah. Ten out of ten. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. I'm glad I finally saw it. I've been I've been meaning to see it for a while. And you know they sell those Totoro plushies. Big, squishy. We'll see. We'll yeah, maybe that. a pillow. You can <laughs> get a Totoro pillow. pillow? Yeah. Okay, cool. Go get a couple Totoros when we're at the house. Not yeah. a couple. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's say goodbye. <laughs> Bye, folks. Goodbye. <laughs>